Lent and fasting. There are two days during the year when the church obliges us to fast, and it's from age 18 to 59. Those two days are Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, days in which the church exhorts us to eat less think less about our body and think more about our soul and the eternal salvation of our soul. In this presentation I'd like to just go through some of the reasons why fasting is very beneficial for us and for our salvation. Why should we fast? First reason, to imitate Christ. Our Lord was perfect, never sinned. He was like us in everything except sin. However, after he was baptized, he was driven out into the desert by the Holy Spirit, and he was in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, where he fasted. So for us to imitate Christ, we have to learn the art of penance, the art of fasting. Second reason, to repair for sin. We're all sinners. We sin in thought, word, deed, and often due to omission. These sins have to repair, be repaired. They have to be expi expiated, either in this life or in the life to come. So by fasting we can atone for and repair for many of our sins of the past and prevent sins in the future. We can also offer our fasting in reparation for our family members, our church members, as well as the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Also, <clears throat> Fasting is very salutary to be able to conquer the urges of the flesh. St. Paul speaks about this interior battle. There's a battle within us between good and evil, between light and darkness, between truth and the father of lies. How can we overcome our fallen human nature of the flesh? also by applying ourselves to fasting. Another reason why we should fast is when Our Lady appeared in Fatima in 1917, when she appeared in Lourdes in 1858 to St. Bernadette, she told the children as well as to the whole world to offer sacrifices we offer the sacrifices especially for the conversion of sinners. Sinners will be lost because we don't pray enough for them, we don't offer enough sacrifices for them. And finally, in the desert we see, we see Jesus battling against the devil. How did he overcome the devil? By long and fervent prayer, by the use of the Word of God. And finally, Jesus conquered the devil by the practice of fasting. So let's pray for the grace to learn the art of self-denial, to learn the importance of penance, to learn the salutary effect of fasting in our lives.